Bright Suns, and welcome back to an all-new episode of Let's Talk About Star Wars with Maggie Lovett. Today's episode is going to be a very short one, but I did not want to let a week pass without talking about some super great things that arrived in the mail this week. First up, I would love to thank uh, Kamose, who watches these episodes and always listens to podcasts and is always so awesome over on Twitter. I want to thank you so much for sending me this super awesome Jaina Solo Black Series figure. I cannot wait to officially unbox it and put it up on my bookshelf. Uh, this is such a nice surprise and a perfect addition. And look, I mean, it's like me as a Black Series figure. Um, but seriously, this is like just brought so much joy to me this week. So thank you so much for that. Um, very much a welcome surprise. Uh, I also want to uh, shout out Disney Books, who are always fantastic. They sent me the High Republic shout out, showdown at the fair shadows on my mind but uh showdown at the fair um i absolutely loved uh the kids book for light of the jedi and this one is just as magical and there are so many super awesome stickers inside um particularly of Buriaga because you know everybody loves a wookie jedi um but also we just got like bell and oh i just love it so much i also already read it because it's only a couple pages long. So much fun. And if you are like me and you like being able to visualize things, and if you found the Rising Storm, I didn't have this issue, but I know I had this issue with Light of the Jedi because I, I think reading the comics, I have a little bit more of a grasp on who the characters are, are now. Uh, but if you are like me and you are a visual person and you want to see some of the things that you've read in The Rising Storm, this is such a perfect companion to the book. And I really hope that we get another one of these for the next wave. As we all know, the wave is coming to a close and the big wave two is starting soon. And it is terrifying to think that some of our favorite Jedis may not be making it through to the end. Uh, I will be devastated if any of my favorites die. Um, and I think that's really just a testament to the High Republic and the fact that so many of these characters so quickly have become our favorites even though we've really only had them for a year. Um, and I just really cannot see, like, wait to see how um, the authors choose to uh, devastate us this time. Um, I'm certain we're all going to be charging our therapy bills to them. And then another book that I got this week from the people over at Del Rey, the newest installment of Thrawn. I've had the ebook for this for a couple of weeks and I haven't had a chance to read it. But now that I have it in my hands, I can't wait to actually start to read it. Uh, it is a very, very large book. I thought the previous book was um, a lot, but this one, this one is a big one and I cannot wait to dive into it and see what Mr. Zahn has next for us. And then I had completely forgotten that I had pre-ordered this. Um, it's kind of a running issue with me. I pre-order things in the middle of the night. And then six months later, I have surprises that arrive. Uh, but my unmasked Din Djarin from the finale of The Mandalorian has arrived. And I have so many... So many Grogu things. Um, so many Grogu's. But I am really excited about this one. This moment, as you all know, was definitely a favorite of mine. Uh, and I just can't wait to add it to my bookshelf. Um, so it was a really great week. I got two books, two uh, action figures, and uh, just so much fun Star Wars stuff this week. Uh, we got that beautiful poster that came out um, for the next wave of the High Republic, which I believe is going to be in the Barnes & Noble exclusive, which I am very excited about. We also got a huge new wave of figures. That Cobb Vamp action figure is definitely calling my name, but I am choosing to pace myself because I am hoping that we get some really cool Book of Boba Fett toys once that series launches in a few weeks. I mean, December is right around the corner. We are almost done with the month of October. And then we are just slowly working our way to the Book of Boba Fett, which I'm still so shocked that I am so excited for something that has to do with Boba Fett. But I am begging you, Star Wars, Finnick Shand merchandise. Ming-Na is like royalty. Disney royalty, and I need more merchandise of her. 
I have loved her since she was Mulan. I loved her as Melinda in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And now I just need some more merchandise of Fennec Shan. So if you could get on that, I know you all are listening. Get on that. I need those figures. I need that to be released with the Book of Boba Fett. Ideally, maybe you could release some merch for the Disney Plus Day. I'm totally down for that. I will save money explicitly for buying new figures for the Book of Boba Fett. Also some new t-shirts. Um, <laughs> We see how quickly uh, Funko Pop was able to roll out some Squid Game merch. So I'm just saying, where are the High Republic Funko Pops? Where is my Martian Row Funko Pop? Where is my Belle? Where is my Keeve? Where is my Lorna? Where is my Stellan? I just, I need these figures. I need the High Republic merchandise to go along with my book obsession. Um, but really, that is all that I had for this week's episode of let's talk about Star Wars. There isn't really a lot to talk about right now. We're in that kind of like weird spot in between book releases and television releases. And we haven't really gotten any really big news yet. I have no doubt that Disney Plus Day will bring lots of new content for all of us to talk about and scream about. And yes, I am well aware of the Hayden Christensen being an Ahsoka thing. For some reason, I was not like losing my mind as much as everybody else was. And I think that's just because like, Yes, I know that Hayden Christensen is going to be involved with, like, Kenobi. So, like, that excitement's already there. Ahsoka's just, like, icing on the cake for me. I'll take Hayden Christensen in whatever way he wants to appear in Star Wars series. I mean, give him a whole series. Let him let him live out some sort of what-if universe for uh, Anakin Skywalker. I'm, I'm good with whatever. Um, but, yeah, I think with some of the stuff um, surrounding the Ahsoka series, it kind of dampened my, my spirits a little bit about that. I have really mixed feelings about that series. But... Um, I'm, you know, keen to see what they do with that story and how Anakin will factor in if it's a flashback, which will devastate me or a force ghost moment. Um, I'm excited. Um, but I almost wish that had been a surprise. Um, like the Kenobi stuff makes sense, but I would have liked that to have been like a secret. Like we logged on one morning to watch the Ahsoka season. I don't know what episode it would be like episode three. And there is Hayden Christensen um, in whatever form or fashion. I think that would have been really cool, but you know, uh, it came out. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but as always, may the force be with you. And until next week, you know, stay cool. Um, have fun on Star Wars Twitter and don't lose your head.